Hi everybody, um, we at Starlark are going to show you how to make some Rulo for your garments. Um, you'll see Rulo popping up on a lot of patterns and we want to show you how we do it here and some of you might need some tips and tricks and we'll just walk you through each step. Here's an example of what we actually call Rulo. Um, you'll use it on dresses and for ties, etc. You can make thicker um, Rulo and thinner. So we'll show you how to achieve this look like this um, with a little machine. We don't really know the um, correct name of it, but you can find it in craft stores. Um, spotlights if you're in Australia and in America, I'm sure your haberdashery stores will have something similar to this. Okay, we'll show you how to make Rulo using one of these uh, and then a cheap version using some rope like that. Okay, so obviously depending on the thickness of the Rulo, you'll use a skinnier rope or a thicker rope. Okay, let's start. Okay, so here are all the tools that you're going to need to make the Rulo. We've got some fabric scissors that are very sharp. They need to be sharp to cut straight lines. Metal ruler, some tailor's chalk, some pins, a set square, and some rope. And that thingamajig is called a loop turner. So once you've got all of those and your fabric, you're ready to go. So we've pre-cut some linen. It didn't tear so well, so we've had to cut a straight line. You take your set square, you place that at the selvage at the bottom. You'll notice that right angle, it's very straight. Some fabrics you can actually tear successfully in a straight line. This linen did not tear, um, so we had to make sure that was straight. It's really important um, for that to be straight because um, you need to create a true bias. So once the set square is laid at that selvage and you draw with using your tailor's chalk along that 45 degree angle, you will create, that is your true bias. So that's imperative when you're making rulos. So that's how you find that angle. Um, some pattern companies will provide, or most I should say, should provide you with pattern pieces for the rouleau. Today we're just using our metal ruler to create the width of the rouleau. We've um, marked out four lines for you or four pieces of fabric. The reason we've done this is because we're going to show you how to join rouleau because that's very important. You'll often need to make long lengths of rouleau and in order to, to do that you need to know how to join the pieces. So two of these pieces that we're cutting right now we're going to join, so that will show you how to make the long lengths. And the other two pieces, we'll, we will use one to create the rouleau with a rope, and we'll use the other piece to show you how to use that loop turner and um, create the rouleau. So I'm just going to cut the four pieces and show you the steps. We'll show you how to join first. That's really important. So... We'll do that. Okay, so there's your four pieces that you just cut. Okay, now this is how you join Rulo to make long lengths. So you take the two angled pieces, you lay them flat. The right side is on the inside, so you're looking at straight down, that's the wrong side. Use your pin, see that little triangle there, you're going to end up cutting that off. We'll show you in a minute. So you take the pins, you pin it into position. I'm just going to lay it flat so you can actually see that's the side, that, that's the right side because you're going to stitch the other side. And then once you cut the angles off, it's going to be, they're going to be parallel and straight. So we'll take that over, oh, we're going to stitch it quickly, it's been stitched and just taking it to the ironing board, you're going to open that seam, so this is the wrong side you're looking at once you've stitched it, just press that flat and see there those little triangles each side that's sort of jutting out and that's the right side, see how you can see that's, you cut them off and then you've got a nice straight piece of rouleau. So you just continue that process to make longer lengths. Okay, so I've just grabbed another piece now. We're going to show you how to use the loop turner. So the right side of the fabric is on the inside of this. So 
Cheryl's turning it. It's in half. She's making sure she's applying, she's holding on tight. I'll show you her left hand here. See how she's pulling that taut? And then her right hand, she's also holding that quite tight. That's very important when making rouleau. So both hands need to be holding the fabric firm. We will always do a double stitch, or sorry, we'll go over the stitch twice. This is, it just needs to be really strong. Rulers is of, often used for ties and you just don't want them breaking. That's very annoying. So again, she's holding the, the fabric or the rouleau on each hand tight. She's going to snip that end off. Watch what she does here, okay? So she snipped one end and angled it, and then she's done a little snip, like a little hole. She takes the loop turner, threads it up. Now watch closely this bit. It comes out the top, and the little hook goes up and over, and then it comes back on itself and goes through that little snipped hole that she made. And then she threads it through gently. You can't do this fast. Well, she looks like she's doing it fast, but you've got to be gentle when you do it because it breaks. And there you go. That's it. Easy peasy. So that's Rulo. Just going to neaten those edges and that's done. So we'll move on to the rope version now with the last cut piece. Okay, so you've got your rope, got your Rulo. We're going to change the foot. Use the zipper foot. Looks like that. Okay, so that foot's in. So the right side of the fabric is on the inside here. Just going to secure the rope down. Just go over that end. Okay. So again, the ruler's in half. It's and the rope is encased inside. Again, Cheryl's going to hold each side quite firm. Be careful not to um, sew over the rope. You've got to keep that free on the inside. And just gently do that. You can actually, we're, we're just doing one row of stitching, but again, you best to do two rows, as in go back on yourself, just to make sure it's secured. This is a little bit tricky, this, this part, so I should just neaten that end. And then we're going to pass it over to Lynn, and Lynn's going to turn it inside out. Okay, so first of all, because you've got the rope, you need to cut away the excess fabric. Be just going to be mindful. Just watch out for those stitches. Don't cut the stitch. Just cut as much or as close to that stitch line as possible. And this will just help you to turn, turn it inside out. So it's it's a slow. You just got to gently move the fabric up to the stitched end. That's where you stitched the rope over the fabric. You've just got to wiggle. Just get that end over itself. It's going to move a little bit of that and then you've got to pull the rope a little bit. We, I think I mentioned we've used a linen, so depending on the fabric, sometimes it's a little bit... Um, some fabrics are easier, so they move easy, easily inside out, so silks can be a little bit easier to manage. Um, Linen can be a bit tricky, but we'll get there. So she's just wiggling that. This is probably the hardest part of the rope one. Is that it? Yeah, she's got it. So, she, yep, once it's gone, it's done. There you go. Okay, guys, there you have it. That's our quick tutorial on how to do a rouleau. Uh, we hope you found it useful and we'll see you next time. Leave your comments and questions in the comment section below. Thank you.